Hey everybody, Jesse at Troy Motors. Next to me, a 2016 Nissan Altima. This thing has 800 miles on it. Looking at a brand new car here. Some right front damage. We're going to make our way around the vehicle like always. See exactly what's going on. Starting with the interior here. As you'd expect on an 800 mile car, like new, it smells good, looks good. No really spots of damage aside from your airbags. You got a driver steering wheel airbag deployed, right side curtain airbag, right front passenger airbag inside the seat. Uh, so a total of three airbags deployed. A nice little option package on here. You some backup camera, CD player, and a digital display. Power driver's seat. Again, looks and smells new. Very, very nice. You got a chrome trim package on it. Nice little touch. Two-tone alloy wheels. Again, really goes with the car. It's got a very, very sharp look to it. Factory spoiler on the rear. SR package. We're talking about those options. Again, this is, uh, this is a new car we're looking at. There's really nothing of note here until we get to the damage. First thing we see here is on this rocker molding. Now this actually mounts in or tabs into the, the flange on the fender. Fender is damaged, so we've got a little bit of separation there. The molding itself looks okay. A little bit of a rub here, but uh, just cosmetic. This right fender here, first thing we're going to notice here is these lines are not overlapping. So if we do have a structural issue, it should be contained. Glass is intact door frame looks fine so it, we do have a little bit of frame damage we're going to get to but it's it's going to be confined it's going to be good for you uh, so I can see here this upper structure is pushed in a little bit we follow the damage down right headlight assembly that's obviously going to need to be replaced I did sort of check these wiring harnesses one by one uh, they, they really look okay uh, I don't really see any that will definitely need to be replaced they really look to be okay this upper rail here, inner fender apron, this is just pushed in a little bit. I don't see any kinks or rips or anything that's, that's of concern, uh, but you will, you will have a little bit of movement here. Probably need to be pulled back out to be straight. Suspension looks great. Everything's bolted up. Uh, plenty of clearance for everything. Uh, not much of a concern there. Front reinforcement bar, same thing. I can see the end of that totally intact. Um, this upper tie bar here on the right side just moved over a little bit. Plastic mounting tab for the core support damage. I would probably count on doing the core support, the radiator, and the condenser. I can actually see the back of the radiator and the top of the condenser here. They could be okay, but there is no fluid in the reservoir. So, you know, count on replacing them. If it turns out that they're okay, that'll just be a good surprise for you. Uh, this area looks fine. No movement on the engine here. This is cracked. This is from this just flexing a little bit. Tie bar on this side, same thing, just a little bit of a bend in it. No big deal. This upper structure looks to be intact. This headlight assembly looks good. I don't really see any damage to it. This tab even is okay. I don't think that's going to be replaced. Front bumper cover is going to have to go. The grill's got a little bit of cosmetic damage, but you can use it. The hood, I would kind of replace the that. You've got damage kind of all along this side. So um, again, this is kind of hitting all the marks for us. It's new, no miles. It's got great options. And the damage is really not a bad fix. I don't know that you can do it in your driveway, but it'll be very, very close to that. Great fix.